Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start animating with Krita. So if you don't have Krita, just go to krita.org and you can download a version of the software there. It is pretty cool because it's free. So it's a great place to start animating and start playing around with detail painting and animation. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Krita. We're going to open Krita and this is the window that we're going to get. We're going to go to new file and we're going to create a new document. So I'm just going to choose one small document and I'm going to put create. And this is what we get when we open Krita, but we want to animate, right? So we're going to go to window and we're going to go workspace and we're going to click here in animation. This way we're going to get the timeline that is very important because this is where we are going to start creating our animation. And we're going to start putting the frames there. So we have the layers over here and we have the timeline here. Okay. And then we have the playback buttons over here. So we're going to go here and we're going to right click here and we're going to put create blank frame. Okay. Now we create a blank frame and we can start painting. So for this video, I'm just going to do a really easy animation. This is a very common exercise we do as animators. It's the bouncing ball. So I'm just going to create a bouncing ball and I'm going to make it a bit fancy. I'm going to put some shadows. So now look at this. We have a ball. It's a bit, uh, it has some shadows just to make it a bit fancier and make it a bit nicer. So. As you can see, we have in our first frame, we have a ball here. So we're going to move two frames. Okay. And I'm going to select the ball with this uh, tool that I have over here. And as you can see, I can now move my ball around. So I'm just going to select here. We have like a light bulb over here and this is the onion skin. And with this one, we can start to see the past frames. So that way we can see where our last frame, uh, our last drawing was in the canvas. So I'm going to go two squares. I'm going to click my light bulb and I'm going to select my ball and I'm going to move it down. Okay. And I'm going to do that with uh, the next drawings until I get my motion, right? Now I can see that my ball is bouncing and it looks pretty good but I just gotta add some squash and stretch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the frames where the ball stretches the most and I'm just gonna stretch it a bit okay here I'm gonna squash it okay just to make it look nicer I'm going to do the same in the other frames. And now we, if we want to play our animation, we're just going to go here. We're going to select all these uh, frames where we have a drawing. And we're just going to click here the button that it has a triangle here. This is the play button. And we're going to just click and there you go. We have our first animation and it actually looks pretty good. It's actually pretty simple to animate in uh, Krita and it has some really good tools. So it's a great, great place to start animating and it's free. So pretty good, right? So we can go and create a new layer. And if you see, we get a new layer over here and we get a new layer also in the timeline. So if we want to create a shadow, we're going to go and let's go to this frame and let's draw a circle. Okay. Maybe something like that. And we can just paint a shadow over here. And there you go. We have a shadow now down here. And we're just going to move the opacity a bit down. It's a bit too strong. Okay. And we can just play around with the shadow a bit. We can just uh, kind of do the same that we did with the ball if you want. And if it, if the ball moves higher, then we can 
just make the shadow smaller so we're just gonna make the shadow smaller every time the the wall goes up So now if we want to play our animation we're just going to select our keyframes and we're just going to click here play and we have an animation it looks pretty good it's a really quick bouncing ball I hope uh, so I hope yours looks as good as this one so now we have to export our animation we want to make it a gif or a, a movie or whatever so we're just going to go here we're going to go to file and we're gonna go where it says render animation we're gonna click over here render animation so we're gonna get this window and to export uh, this animation we're gonna need this uh, program FFMPEG and I'm gonna show you how you can get this one so to download FFMPEG you're gonna go to this link I'm gonna leave it on the description of the video and you can just go there and just follow the instructions that are on the website and they're gonna tell you how to download uh, the FFMPEG this is gonna help you render your animations and make videos of uh, your animations with Krita okay so let's get back to the video once you have that one you can have it in your desktop so you need to find it here so go to your folder and find it wherever you have it uh, saved and remember our first frame is zero in this case and our last frame is going to be 24 and we want it to run as 24 frames per second this way is gonna it's gonna be a nice animation if we go pretty high then our our animation is gonna start to look a little bit funky so just go so go 24 frames per second and then just put a gif image in this case I'm just gonna make it a gif and if you wanna save it you wanna put it wherever you wanna save it okay maybe in the loads or wherever you wanna put it I'm gonna put it in the desktop so the video location is wherever you're gonna save your your ball your bouncing ball in this case I just put it in my desktop and I'm just gonna render I'm just gonna click OK and now we have to wait for it to be done it should be pretty quick because it is a really easy animation really small it's not too heavy and the size is pretty small this is what you get this is your animation and look we already make a gif it looks pretty decent for our first animation so this is the way you can start animating in Krita. I hope you like it and if you like the video just subscribe and give it a click and share if you want and I'll see you in the next video okay bye bye